Good evening. Hi, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching my video. As promised, I've brought to you the pink robot junk journal. Um, if you saw my earlier video where I showed this green one, I'm going to show you now that one. If you haven't seen that, I do a flip through on this one. Now I'm doing the flip through on the pink one, which is slightly different. You will recognize the format. It's got um, the famous little robot, which I took from this rubber stamp, which I bought ages ago. And this one I bought from papermania.co.uk. But I'm not sure who actually made the original um, product. It says here, design objectives. So I'm going to try and find out a bit more about them and add all the relevant links. But it's a classic uh, medium sized rubber stamp mounted onto wood and i love it i have used it so many times um the good thing about rubber stamps like that is they will last you a very long time and um, they do take up a more space than silicon ones but i find that you get a really crisp image and you can just use it over and over again so we'll be talking a bit more about stamping and printing in another video but for the purposes of this I just want to do a flip through so I want you to see how it looks okay it's uh, got lots of pages um, it's not particularly thick it looks a bit bulky because I've put quite a lot of stuff in there but I just want you to see what's going on with this one it's been decorated front and back and I just want to go through a little bit of detail on the front so it's got some cogs which were printed on foam and um, this was also printed on foam and then embossed to give it this lovely kind of um, shimmery effect, this rainbow kind of colour scheme, which I hope you're you're catching there. Um, it's got cogs, it's got iridescent paper, holographic card. It's even got like bits of corrugated card in different colours. I've got pink and I've got blue there. I've also got glitter card, iridescent paper, which I got from uh, some wrapping paper, packaging that you get um, when stuff comes through the post, all kinds of stuff. I've even used leopard print tissue paper mounted on card, um, all sorts really. Some wallpaper, that's actually wallpaper, metallic wallpaper. Um, yeah, and then I've got this lovely pink paper clip, which can come in handy. You might need it to uh, clip in some work. I'm just going to take it off and we're just going to open it up now. Right, here we go. First things first, what are you seeing? I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Right, what we've got here is the inside of the book. It's got some pre-printed cards. Um little tags that tag is stuck down but there is a pocket here where you could put another tag you could put something in there um, I've got a belly band I spoke about belly bands it's just a, a, a strip of material in this case some plastic and card which has been stuck down and it allows me to put things in there I've got some nice detail going on here I've got some crunchy um, kind of iridescent plastic it makes a nice little crunchy noise um, a little um, shape that I saw in a magazine and then loads of tissue paper layered onto each other. Um, it's really nice. When tissue paper is laid on top of each other, you get the colours showing through and it's really quite artistic, I think. You don't even need to be artistic. Um, if you're good at picking out colours, you can have a lot of fun making a journal or any kind of artwork, really. Um, so here I've used strips of paper, some Financial Times. Um, I do like the Financial Times and I, it does feature in some of my journals. So I've put some in there. Um, I've got um, another belly band. And here we've got um, something I made out of um, brown paper that came from a bag. And it's a little fold out thing. It just folds out. As you can see, I mean, it's so easy to do. I made it from a junk journal, um, from a junk mail. It was just a large envelope with a window and I just opened it carefully and then folded it and stuck these things all over it. So as you can see, zap, I've got um, some really nice soft um, material there. 
some iridescent leopard print um it was a really beautiful leopard print tissue paper that i bought ages ago um you can get this stuff online so um i will try and remember to put a link in if i forget just just message me through the youtube channel and i will do what i can to make sure you get your links um, and to get any downloads and things that you want okay it's all my downloads are free by the way any downloads is whether they're other people's downloads or my own i always put them out i always put links there um so again more tissue paper and and all sorts really uh, a little window i just love the windows i think they're so funny and a little barcode that was on something um yeah so that's what i've done there so that's that's something you could actually write on that or stick photographs or um you know little things that you want to record so that goes in the belly band then i made this big chunky um kind of what they call a journaling spot <laughs> i mean i'm still getting used to all the terminology but this is a super sized tag i mean this is one that i made myself using some scrap card and then covering it with all types of textures so we've got corrugated card we've got some gold embossing um, tissue paper bits out of a newspaper saying future more cogs and gears uh, the word zap is featuring there zap um, more iridescent loads of uh, acrylic fur and then on the back of it, I've just used ordinary lined paper and then I've edged it with some um, some ink pad. Now, if you haven't got ink pad, you could even use some blusher or something. Some people actually use makeup to get colours in their junk journal. So experiment, you know, if you've got some old blushes or um, maybe an old lipstick or something that you don't use anymore, there's no reason why you can't experiment and try using it to decorate your junk journal. It's not going to hurt, you know. I mean, unless you want a junk journal that's going to last forever, then you'd have to modge podge the whole thing afterwards to protect it. But, I mean, that's just something you can write on. Um, it can fit inside the book. You could put ribbon through it um, so if you wanted to tie it onto something. Or you could even tie it into the junk journal so it doesn't keep falling out. Okay, so that's that. Then I've got um, a little robot there and some uh, vellum paper. Um, as you can see there, I printed a robot and then I just did some hand colouring using a felt tip. But you could use pencils, crayons, um, you know, things like that. Okay, so as you can see, there's lots of detail. I've uh, backed it onto some black card and there you go it's double-sided it's just some some graph paper taken from my daughter's maths book um zap 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 little red robot um then i've got this lovely pink iridescent robot which i put on um some just some ordinary exercise paper and then i cut round it as you can see there's lots of bling there's lots of iridescent going on there uh, because I really love iridescent stuff. I've got some uh, little cogs there. Oops, something just fell out. Oh, yeah, there was this little card, um, a little maths card that my daughter used to use. And I actually sold all of them. But this one was um, just knocking about. And it matches the colour scheme of the book. So it's nice. It's just a little memory, you know, a little maths card. You can make your own. You could even do robots and then have maths simple sums with the answers on the back or something um, to help your child learn um, the basic, you know, the basic rules um, of maths. So there's another little robot. Oh, yep, I've seen that. Some blank paper where you can put all your uh, doodlings and decorations and oh we're getting to some goodies here i've got some vellum i mean you don't have to use vellum you could use kitchen paper or just use some some plastic from the inside of cereal packets 
don't be scared to experiment. I've seen some really inspirational junk journals that were made completely out of food packaging. Um, yeah, it wasn't vintage or anything. It was just brand new day to day kind of packaging that you come across. Um, I used the inside of um, a leaflet that I got from Open University. I applied for something, I think it was a poster or something, and it said, open up your future. So I thought, yeah, that's really nice. It goes well with the robot theme because it's all about futuristic things and, you know, sort of like modern day. Um, so, yeah, I just printed the robot on there. That was all I did. I just printed the robot and uh, the barcode was already on there. And I just put some little scraps of paper and some texture uh, and just just to give it a little bit of interest really and then I just drew hand drew those lines on with a pink pencil and that could be a little journaling spot where you could just write a message to yourself or a, a reminder then here we've got some more vellum which is lovely it's nice and translucent you can stick stuff on it it's nice for tracing if you wanted to trace something um, it's you could even put tracing paper in there if you want uh, what else is there? Just more blank paper to put your ideas. Um, another belly band. Right, this page has got a lot going on. This page has got a belly band. It's got a little pocket made out of cereal packet. And it's got some little robots inside. Yeah, let's have a little play with the robots. Pink and, yeah, light pink and dark pink robots, which I embossed. But you could easily just hand draw some robots onto some EVA using a permanent marker or a biro. Okay, then you've got another journaling spot, which also doubles up as a tag. Um, I haven't put anything through the hole, but you can do. I've stapled some textured um, kind of vinyl and... It, this was um, actually an envelope which came from, I think, Korea or Japan. And it had these little tags on, these little stickers on. So I just kept it the way it was, just natural. Um, and then I just added a few little extras on there to make it more interesting. I even found an old checkbook and just ripped one of the check, um, the, the actual ch uh, checks out of it and just printed on top of it. Because I like the numbers. The numbers are very kind of futuristic looking, I think. So I put those on. Put a little bit of texture with some more um, metallic vinyl. Stuck a little robot on there. And then the back of it, I've just used scraps of silver tissue paper and pink tissue paper. And then just written all, you know, just did um, some lines on freehand. OK, so don't be scared of, of doing freehand work. If you can draw, um, then go for it. You know, it makes it even more unique. Nobody will have that. Um, yeah, the back of it is just plain black. So you could print stuff on there. You could get some chalk or some white pencil or some uh, white ink and print. Just print images on there. OK, so... That's what I've done with this. Just played around with it, played around with my stamps, played around with different um, colours. I really like the way the pinks and the greens seem to complement each other really nicely. The neon pink and the uh, jade embossing and iridescent touches. OK. Right, here we go. Another little robot and then another page with just some areas to write some notes down there's all little spaces you can write stuff on you can put stickers in you can even uh, get paper clips and just attach things inside if you want and again this one is held together with um a trainer's um shoelace basically and i just cut the ends off um, it ties really well. It's very sturdy, but you could easily replace that. You could take that out if you need to um, change the pages or just change the, the ribbon. It's really, really good. 
as you can see I punched holes in there using um, a normal hole punch and then I hole punched each individual page and then here we go again nice little tag and this is really good because it's blank on the back you can write a note on there you could use that as a gift tag if you wanted this is not a tag the reason why it's not a tag is because I I made a bit of a mistake I put the fur at the top and the problem is is that my hole punch would not go through all the layers it just wouldn't go through so um basically it 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 wasn't a tag so I've just used it as a journaling spot but if you wanted to make something like this you'd put the fur at the bottom and then put the thinner fabrics at the top and then punch your hole up there and then put ribbon or string or whatever you want to put in there so again lots of nice colors lots of um, texture using um, corrugated card so you can see that's what I've done there and they go in this little pocket okay but you can make your pocket how you want so that was that okay um, and at the back we've got some vinyl we've got stamped cogs we've got a pink robot acrylic fur we've got the words zap buzz um lots of different textures again a foam robot as you can see has been printed on foam eva uh, but you could just hand draw them on okay we will go on about hand drawn things later but that's that one so thank you for watching um my next robot video will follow this one thank you